Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Tammy2 here. Um, so today's build is going to be the Family Guy house and also the Griffin family. So I've started off um, building the building, <laughs> making them in Kaz, um, just because I really wanted to also put the family into the house. So um, yeah, I just it just made it come to life, I think. And yeah, we're starting off with Peter Griffin and I'm trying to kind of make him I don't know. It's hard to make a cartoon into a real person on The Sims. Well, for me, because I'm really bad at Kaz, but um, I got his chin as much as I could going on there. And um, yeah, I think he kind of he kind of looks like him. But um, yeah, if you're not aware of Family Guy, um, watch it because it's good. <laughs> um, I really like it. It's a show that I've watched for years. Um, I know it's not so great these days. Like the funnier seasons were you know, a few years ago now, but um, I'm loyal to it. I'm, I like it. So I really wanted to make um, the house mainly. And every time I watch it, I kind of see things in the house that I'm like, oh, I would, I would use that in The Sims for that piece of furniture or something. Um, and now we have pets and toddlers. Um, it's actually doable with the with the family as well. So with Stewie and with Brian. So um, yeah, we're giving Peter the mischievous kind of aspiration. He's also going to be a slob, childish and uh, lazy. Yeah, that's the one because he's always up to shenanigans. And I just figured um, his aspiration life is just to do crazy stuff. <laughs> oh, I will just say as well, um, if you're a younger viewer, Family Guy is like... Um, an adult cartoon so just be aware of that <laughs> like I don't want any younger viewers who like the sims to be going and watching something they're not meant to so yeah just to put that out there um but we're gonna give the family a few of their outfits um obviously 90% of the time they do stay in the one outfit like their main outfit that I'm putting in the corner of the screen for you um but I did also want to give them like some outfits um so I gave the I gave Peter the solid gold suit for his party wear that he wears in one episode it's just like a cutaway gag I think um and that's just really funny and then also Lois um it was really hard to make her like beautiful like she's like in the cartoon world she's like really attractive I think and, ev and everybody fancies her like Quagmire wants to marry her and stuff and Brian loves her too and yeah it was just I wanted to make her um but she's yeah I wanted to make her beautiful but she still has to have this like nose going on but I kind of made it as perky as I could and yeah she's got her classic green shirt and her tan trousers um but yeah she kind of looks a little bit dowdy in the sims version I think but she's got her classic red lip as well which really helps um just perk up her face a bit and also that hair color I never use it on any of my sims so it was nice to just use that hair color for once um so moving on to Chris he's just kind of yeah he's just kind of a teen he's kind of I don't know he's he always like he's trying to find a girlfriend and he's um kind of a bit of an oddball at school I guess and he's got the really raspy voice obviously voiced by Seth Green so um it was hard trying to kind of get the voices as well because I wanted Lois to have her like annoying nasally voice and then I wanted Chris to have a bit of a raspy voice so I kind of tried to do that as much as I could um so moving on to Meg it was really funny how um when I added a new sim she was like this beautiful blonde <laughs> and like she was just a random sim and I was like oh my goodness that's so funny because Meg is like known for her ugliness bless her and yeah she's her full name if you didn't know is Megatron um it's in one of the episodes her full name is not Megan it's Megatron so yeah bit of trivia for you there um but yeah I kind of made her she she is actually not a bad looker like it's just I think take off her glasses and her hat and give her like you know pluck her eyebrows a little bit and she's good to go and I gave her these really nice thick thighs because <laughs> I think there's a lot of jokes about that and um yeah I I actually like how she looks in the sims I think maybe she's the most realistic looking one um to me um so yeah I I really like her <laughs> So I'm that annoying person that whenever I'm in a conversation with someone and something reminds me of a family guy moment or joke, I will say it and I'll be that person that quotes it a lot. Um, usually the more classic episodes. Um, but most people are like that with friends and um, with the show friends. But I'm like that with family guy, um, which then leads me to have to explain the whole scene um, because some people don't know it. So <laughs> um, I, I really need to meet a friend who understands me. Um, yeah, so we've moved on to Stewie now and he looks evil. Like I had to make his head, I made his head as much like as 
oval as I could. Um, and he, I, I didn't have hair that would work with the cartoon, so I just had to make him bald. And honestly, he just looks like Chucky. He looks so scary and a little bit evil. And I mean, he's meant to be evil. He's, you know, he wants to dominate the world and kill his mom or something. But I, he kind of abandoned that, you know, a while ago, a few seasons ago now. Um, <laughs> and this is Brian. So we're adding... We're adding a golden retriever because he's he's a golden retriever cross, I think, um, to be more accurate. But yeah, we just added a golden retriever and it took me a while to figure out the colouring of this. Like, I haven't actually played around with the cats and dogs, um, like, stamping and colours and all of that good stuff. Like, it's really advanced. I, I suddenly, like, suddenly we have this insane, um, you know, like, complex way to, to make um, patterns on cats and dogs but we don't didn't even have a color wheel from day one so it was a bit strange for me but yeah we just kind of gave him his little collar and yeah that that's Brian um so moving on to the house now the best bit um so here's a picture of the house if you're not sure what what it looks like and that's kind of like an older season um picture of the house I think and you kind of get to see a lot of the rooms or the same rooms in a lot of episodes and then every now and again you'll see a room that's like never shown and um, so I had to kind of search for images and floor plans that um, people put on the internet and just try and figure out from that and from the episodes that I watch um, sort of where everything goes and how it all fits in the floor plan. So the room on the right for example that I've just added is kind of like a porch or a conservatory with um, windows all around and literally I think that the only time we've seen it is in the older seasons where like Brian's talking to himself in the mirror or something or is that Peter anyway like Brian's sleeping in there that was it like you, you barely see it so I did add like a little dog bed for him to kind of chill in there but it's a really nice room in the sims when I like when I made it as as a sims room um and I've put just some um wicker furniture in there and some fairy lights and it's really cute and um that's pretty much all that's going on and then in these back two rooms we're gonna have a dining room because there's a separate dining room to the kitchen dining table and then there's also like the room that has the piano which back in the day Lois would like give her piano lessons in um but now we barely see it and you know it's there's always going to be that issue of um continuity with shows like this so um a lot of the time you'll see me like um put one or two pieces of furniture that aren't in every episode but in some episodes they are so just to make it look a little bit more furnished because otherwise it looks very empty um so to make it look a bit more furnished sometimes I did add furniture that's not in it all the time if that makes sense so um like downstairs for example sometimes there's two chairs with the sofa and sometimes they just aren't and you don't see them and sometimes there's a table if there's meant to be something in that scene to go on the table to to be like a talking point and that really frustrates me because when it came to building it, like I couldn't, I'm a perfectionist and I like to get it right and I like to get it accurate to the to the show because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to replicate it. So um, it was really annoying because sometimes in some screenshots, for example, I would look at it and think, okay, this window is here, the bed's this side or whatever. And then in some, it's like, well, that's not how, it can't be like, like that because if you look at the house from the outside, their bedroom would look out to that view or whatever. Um, so yeah, it was kind of annoying, but I did the best I could. And um, this, this part as well, the roofing that you're seeing now was another annoying part. Like it really annoyed me because I just wanted it to be a normal triangular roof, but we have to put the windows coming out um, which means I have to kind of make a few roofs and put them together and yeah it it took me a little while and I kind of how I how I do it in the end I think it's it's fine it's it'll do <laughs> it's probably as close as I can get maybe um, if I was better at roofing um, but roofing just tedious and it just there's a lot of bugs still with it and even on the inside of the house some of the roofing does clip through which is really annoying because there are no open rooms like they're all actual fixed rooms so there shouldn't be any clipping but there is so yeah I did the best I could and yeah the um the garage roof as well is meant to like line up on the side with this one but it, I it couldn't because it's not like a straight triangle so it really annoyed me but yeah anyway um so yeah the garage is this side like i just said and then the back has more windows sticking out so that was annoying um <laughs> and yeah i'm i'm just kind of moving on to the inside now so i put this little corridor in the middle because i think i think that corridor even though you don't really see it is is the way that it connects the house connects all the rooms together um and then upstairs it's a little bit tighter for space um which is quite annoying because the downstairs rooms some of them like there's so many so much living space um, but only one bathroom that you ever really see in the whole um, house and 
also like the bedrooms turned out really small even though the downstairs is quite large so um yeah i did the best i could you guys i'm sorry <laughs> And for landscaping, I just went simple with these bushes um, outside, which are usually in the actual show. And then for the rest of the garden, I kind of just added a tree in the back and some more bushes to just, just sort of frame the lawn. Because um, normally, well, like in the show, there's the neighbours are there. So there's Quagmire on one side and then Joe on, on the left. So um, they'll have their, their separating like hedges or whatever. So I just kind of added those. Um, but yeah, I, I ended up um, switching to this lot um sort of mid build or just the beginning of the build you might have seen me do that um just because this one was more suited to um the sort of neighborhood look and i realized i actually needed a 40 30 not a 30 20 lot so yeah i switched it um and now i'm sort of picking the green roof so it's it's kind of like a dark green it's where it's meant to be and i searched and searched all the roofing um options and just i wasn't sure whether to go for this obvious green one or to just keep it like a neutral green and I ended up changing it closer to the end I think to a more like off green um, because I mean the tile uh, not the tiles the sliding of the of the outside of the house isn't as yellow as it should be either um, so I didn't think it made sense to all to go like bright green and then not go bright yellow um, so I made it more like a realistic kind of um, green on the roof and yeah I think I think you could definitely change it back to green if you want it definitely gives it a more cartoony look but um, yeah, I just thought that without the actual, the yellowness of the outside wallpaper that it didn't look right. So moving on to the living room, which is the most iconic room. Um, there's not really much in here, to be honest. It's, it's again, it's the main room that will get furnished according to the scene or to the episode and what, what's needed. Um, but there is the iconic, um, like... The sofa is obviously the purple sofa where they all sit and watch TV and they all like sit on the one sofa and that was tough to find because I already had this one in mind, the one that I'm holding and I just knew that the purple wasn't going to be the right purple but it was the closest thing in terms of like the shape of the sofa as well so I just went with that and I just thought well you know what? at least it's got matching chairs and um, it still gives the idea and you know exactly what you're looking at when you see it like it's definitely the family guy living room like you know that so um yeah i thought it was okay in the end but i would love like i wonder if there's like a cc recolor of that sofa maybe um in light purple that would be great um and then i'm adding the stereo um which is pretty much always in every episode because it's in the theme song so it's in the intro um and you always see it. it's got a cu couple of clutter items and like some family portraits above it and i do actually swap out the photo frames i've just put up for um the new family portrait thing um it's like a free it was like a free download that you get if you download the sims mobile game so if you haven't gotten that already definitely go check it out it's like a live it's like a photo frame that you put on the wall and it automatically puts the current household on in the photo so it's really cool um yeah so you can download that and moving on to the kitchen um this was like the, one of the most fun parts to do because it's also where a lot of the episodes are so um the family will be around the kitchen and like stewie's in his high chair or whatever and it's kind of it's actually quite a big kitchen and um the counters were quite easy to replicate um, everything else is quite easy to replicate as well like the um, the stove and the fridge and that kind of thing and yeah it was just a lot of fun to kind of find the best matching stuff but a lot of the time it was just base game that really worked well so um, I think there's actually quite a lot of base game in here to be honest so if you've only got base game or only a couple of packs then you, you might be be able to download this without um, missing too many objects or without them um, like disappearing from from your lot so yeah definitely check it out and yeah in the corner here there's normally I think a phone on the wall um, there's a lot of like funny like Consuela scenes <laughs> they're made um, no no um, I can't do the impression but it's so funny um, so yeah I instead of putting a phone because we don't have even like a decor item as a phone which is kind of strange i really miss that um so yeah i just put like some uh like some cleaning stuff or whatever um and yeah we're just kind of figuring out because in, in some episodes there is this gap in the kitchen counters here and then some there aren't in some the sink is just below the sink uh the sink is just below the window sorry so it's really confusing but i just ended up putting the gap um for space reasons um yeah so here i am going back to the roof yeah so i i changed it back to a more like um like a darker green or a less obvious green 
so anyway we're going to move on to peter and lois's bedroom now and this base game bed that got added in a, an update um it was perfect actually because it's got the right kind of headboard the only thing is the the wood swatch is kind of a bit off so i went to pick out these bedside tables that um sort of went with it and it was really strange because the dresser that goes with those base game bedside tables does not match like You'll see me put it in a second and I'm, I'm like scrolling through the swatches like where is the swatch that matches this one it's really funny um so i ended up just changing them to a lighter wood instead so that um they match because i wanted it to look like a bedroom set uh yeah you see how that it doesn't match anyway um so i ended up changing them all and sort of raising up a mirror like a, a standing mirror to look like a vanity and i think maybe all of the bedrooms have this kind of um vanity dresser with the with the big mirror um, so I've added those in most rooms and I'm also gonna um, add like a fake um, like a fake dresser or, or wardrobe sorry um, because next to their bed on the left is meant to be a, uh, a wardrobe like a closet wardrobe um, and I couldn't add one because of the stairs so I just use these um, like wall like wall items they call items they're in the build mode and um, if you go on the wall items um, and they just look like slats um, so they I just put a few together to look like slatted doors like you know like the closet doors um, so yeah that was like the best I could do because the bedroom honestly turned out a lot smaller than I hoped it would um, in the floor plan like I said I lost a lot of space on the upstairs just because of the roofing situation so um, I had to kind of just work with what I had um, yeah because their bedroom actually has a lot of furniture in it and um, in a lot of the shots it just looks huge like it just looks so massive with not much in it um, yeah so here I am using these wall items just to make like fake closet doors and yeah I also add like a chair there in the corner and I'm adding this like jewelry box I'm just sizing down this wardrobe just to put um, to make it into like Lois's jewelry box and above she has pictures of like her her dad and her mom and Stewie I think so I just added those as well and just some clutter next to the tv as well because they always have their tv in the bedroom and a duck because the bird is the word <laughs> you see what I mean with these references like this is how annoying I am um so Meg's room is actually really nice it's like a nice change to the rest of the house is like there's a lot of blue and yellow and the red kind of carpets which I had to use um uh, like a concrete flooring for but you can just pretend it's same in here as well I had to use this like purple concrete and um, but hers is a bit of a change it's got some green and pink and purple in it and it's a lot um like brighter and it's obviously like a teen girl's room so it's it's very like um colorful and she has this matching furniture and like a little um seating area there with some pillows and the bed um I do try and make like a custom bed with a headboard because she's got like a wrought iron um like a like a metal bed frame um but I wanted the, the the duvet to be a lighter pink because it's, it's meant to be like the same pink as the, those curtains but um in the end I just go back to that bed option because I just thought it was it was easier than um kind of trying to get your sim to move in uh, or to to fit in the bed um and also her little vanity stool I just sized down a dining table and put a, a stool under it so it just looks like a fabric covered stool um and again that's the pink that is meant to be but yeah I I don't know I just couldn't figure out or I didn't think it looks right. I do that a lot of the time with double beds, but with single beds, putting chairs and sofas behind doesn't work so much. I even tried the spice rack trick that I use a lot. Um, but yeah, in the end, I go back to this idea and it's fine. I, I, I like how it looks. Um, yeah, and she's kind of, bless her, she's kind of the runt of the litter, isn't she, Meg? Um, she is the butt of all the jokes. <laughs> but um yeah so the bathroom is yeah really quite easy to do actually um there's enough items in the sims or very similar items in the sims to make it look really realistic or according to the show and um, so they've got their classic like shower that has the pink tiles and i realized actually when it came to furnishing the rest of it the rest of the bathroom um you barely ever see the shot of the other side i don't think you really ever do um so i just put some like cupboards and some like storage from laundry day that's kind of thing so yeah so stewie's room is really cute it's probably the more heavily furnished room and i made his little changing table just by um doing the classic thing of um raising up this uh like ottoman to give like the 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 look of the um i don't know what it's called like the thing that you change the baby on it's like soft it's like a fabric um and then i just um use the debug items that i really like to put in nurseries whenever i do a nursery in sims 4 i like to use a debug like bottle and nappies and put some towels it just looks really realistic um and yeah and i i kind of made him a custom cot as well which 
I know you won't be able to use, um, but he does have the cot that's like raised up and it has the um, fencing, or not fencing, but um, railings around it kind of thing for safety. Um, so I ended up just raising up the toddler bed and putting it in between the chairs. And also here I've put his like, um, his like time machine building equipment as if he's building it currently and like a, a ray gun or something um, because he's into his weapons, you know. Um, and he's a smart baby, that's for sure. I mean, he can talk already and he's like 16 years old and hasn't aged, so that's good. Um, yeah, and just starting some toys about as well. And here's Rupert, his bear as well. I had to put him in somewhere. But yeah, let me know. Do you like the show or is it something like you watch just when you're flicking through TV late at night and it's like, oh, okay, I'll watch it. Because <laughs> um, I'm like the person who, whenever the episode comes out, I have to watch it straight away. Um, but I think... I think I love it especially just because um the creator Seth MacFarlane like he has um he has a really um different type of humor and he makes a lot of references to really old fashioned things like movies and music and of course there's recurring characters like um Carrie Fisher, Adam West, there's Frank Sinatra Jr. Um so there's a lot of old fashioned references that um I really like because I understand them. Um I always get the references and then I laugh and then I have to pause it and explain to whoever I'm watching with like what he's talking about. Plus he voices most of the main characters so it's just really clever and creative. And I think that gives it an extra level of depth that if you don't understand, then obviously you're not going to get the joke. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just I just like that kind of combined um, humor of like old fashioned references and then like stupid cartoons. It's yeah, it's cool. Um, so here I am doing this thing. I wanted to show you the process of this. So what I'm doing is adding the family bulletin board um, from Parenthood. And then I'm asking my Sims to place like notes for each other on it. And then I'm taking the notes off and placing them on the fridge like little shopping lists basically um it's something i've been doing for a little while uh, when i realized that you could actually remove those items and they would still like like um work in the build mode um so yeah it just looks like little shopping lists and they normally do have some things on the fridge so um i wanted to make that look a little bit more detailed and in the piano room you can see i've just added like a computer because in a in a couple of episodes there are there is like a computer there so it, i just thought it would be handy um the only other computer is in Chris's room, so um, it's kind of like a family used one uh, or family one for family use. And yeah, this is the little like conservatory I was talking about. But we are coming to the end of the video very soon. I'm going to put screenshots of the family and the house, so stick around for that. Let me know if you think I um, did a good job of this, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. He's a family girl.